Okay, so today we're going to be doing, um, continuing on with the library and the secret room uh, that I believe we're turning into a theater now. So I'm going to start a new day and we'll just go on from there. I'm starting with 47 stars, so I think we'll be able to maybe get like halfway through this day and then I'll play some more levels. Melinda, our house is so full of secrets. Everything from a collection of rarities hidden behind a fireplace to a whole secret room in the library. Things here get curiouser and curiouser with each day. Curiouser and curiouser. What's that from? It's like from a movie or something, isn't it? New day. Morning, Mr. Austin. Here's a letter from Mr. Crawford. He's the one you wrote a letter to to ask if he had written a letter to... Oh, my God. Thank you, Lisa. I remember. Just a second. I'll call Patrick. Patrick! Patrick! Lisa's here with a reply from the Elite Bookworm Club. He yeah, looks crazy. Coming! Morning, Lisa. Looking great, as usual. Oh, what a charmer. Oh, your cheeks are still red. Are you sure you're feeling well enough to be up and about? Well, she's just blushing. He's so funny. I am. The jam helped a lot. My cheeks are just flushed from driving. I mean, running. I mean, well, are you going to write back or not? <laughs> we haven't even opened the envelope yet. Come in, Lisa. Have some tea while we read the letter. Yeah, Lisa, come in. <laughs> I hope it's not what I think. You know, Austin, for the first time in my life, I want to be wrong. What happened? Are you expecting some bad news? Yes, I mean, no. Well, it's hard to explain. No need to explain. Let's open the letter and find out. Yeah, let's open the letter. Yay. Okay, so opening the letter is... Oh, okay. We're By the way, we're on day five of the library slash theater. Day five. Okay, so we're going to read the letter. <clears throat> okay. Doo -doo -doo. Dear sir, I regret to inform you that there has been an unfortunate misunderstanding. The invitation letter was sent to your honorable ancestor, Sir Henry, many years ago. But, as I now understand, it didn't arrive to him. Unfortunately, the elite bookworm club has since ceased to exist, and the last living member of the club... I apologize for any disappointment this letter might cause you. Re Respectfully yours, Maximilian Crawford, President of the Elite Bookworm Club. Hmm. That's sad. Well, you know, I think they'll probably just, like, restart the club. I mean, that's my guess. So, that would be really cool. You know, we'll see. That's what I would do. No, how can it be? Dad was so excited to get invited to the club, but it was all just a mistake. There's no club at all. Oh, it's going to break his heart. I don't like that. My face is covering his. Okay, what should I tell him? That we've been preparing for nothing? I wish I had been wrong, but let's not panic. There's still hope. I agree. What do you mean? The club doesn't exist. We renovated the library for nothing, and Dad has been going around boasting about the club. Mr. Austin, don't get so upset. It can't be that bad. Right, Patrick? You have something in mind, don't you? Oh, oh. I do. Austin, can you distract your dad so he doesn't suspect anything? In the meantime, we'll write another letter to Mr. Crawford. How should I distract him? It doesn't matter. He can't know what we're up to. What's your plan? I don't quite follow. You will soon. Lisa, let's go write that letter. Yeah, don't just restart the club. Sounds feasible to me. Okay. Distract William. Two stars. Here we go. What can I do to get Dad thinking about something besides the club? It's a lot easier said than done. Melinda, any suggestions? Have him take a ride in his Porsche. <laughs> oh my 
gosh, I love myself. What if I call Raul? He's a mechanic. I'll ask him to help fix that projector. He and Dad always chat up a storm. It might just work. Good morning, Senior Raul. Have you ever worked on a projector? We have one that needs to be repaired. Hola, amigo. I mostly work with cars, but I think I could handle a projector. I fix more complicated machines than that. Okay, now we're going to place a pool table. That's different. Great, then I'll go set up a pool table so you and Dad can have a couple of games too. He has been waiting to play for a while now. You've read my mind, amigo. I will going to invite Billy out for a game of pool this weekend, but a game or two at your place is even better. Of course it is. Free beer and drinks. Well, nothing's free, but you get my point. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, so there's Raul, and here's Dad. Hola. Well, Billy, are you ready to lose big time? There's no shame in losing to you, Raul. What are we playing? Pool, of course. Your son was going to set up a table. Pool? Why didn't I think of that myself? Don't be so sure of your win. Oh, they're so cute. I love old men. Okay, so placing a pool table is five stars. Five stars, guys. And... Fixing the movie projector is three stars. So, I guess you should probably fix that first, because that's what we called him for. Here's Patrick. Excuse me, sir, but what are you doing? Please be careful with that. I spent half the night wrestling with this supervisor already. Well, that was very rude, Patrick. Very, very rude. Okay, you should be nice to our friends. Don't worry, Patrick. Senior Raul is a real professional. He can fix any type of machinery. That's very kind of you, amigo, but there's really nothing too complicated here. I just need to fix the roll and change a gear or two. Sometime later. Ooh, it's all shiny. Awesome! Senior Raul, how did you do that? I didn't think it could be fixed, but it took you like half an hour. Okay, Patrick. Okay, that's why we don't be douchebags to our friends. Amigo, your projector and I are both from the previous century, and two old caballeros like us will always find common ground. A bit of grease and the tightening of a few bolts can go a long way, but your projector isn't high enough. I think it needs a special table. Okay, so new task is to place a table. Maybe my face is good there. There? No. Remember that force that I showed you, Senior Rule? Fixed it. Wow, Senior Rule, can I ask you some questions about fixing things? You're interested in fixing cars? That's great. No, he didn't say cars. Um, more like fixing projectors. I'm not really into cars. Yeah, that's what I said. Hello? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now... I mean, I like to finish something completely before I move on to something else, so why don't we place a projector table? That's four stars. And then he can go play around. Okay, so we've got this white one. Or it's like, I don't know. It's like an off-white. And that's like brown and pink. And then a lighter brown. I mean, I'm rather partial to the brown and pink one. That looks pink to me. Wow, Raul, you, you brought this old thing back to life. Ugh. New task, put up a screen. Okay. It took a bit of time, but as you can see, everything's working now. Although, I'd put up a proper screen instead of what you've got now. Okay. No problem, Senior Raul. We'll do that. And we can also set up some chairs for the audience. We'll have a real home theater. And in the evening, we can watch something from the old days of our youth. Oh, that's so sweet. I've always wanted to have my own home theater. Who doesn't want their own home theater? No lines, no noise, and your favorite movies are always playing. <sighs> you can watch anything from your computer without any lines, too. You don't get it, son. There's no atmosphere in front of a computer. I'll agree with that. I will agree with that. Okay. 
So, oh wow, we have a lot of other things now. I think though he's done enough work. Maybe we should let them play some pool. So let's place a pool table. That's five stars. Oh, that's going to take up a lot of space. I didn't think that this was going in the movie theater room. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but, you know, who am I? Okay, so we've got the classic one with the green felt. Oh, like a blue one. That's blue, you guys. And this is red. I mean, I'm partial to the classic myself. Why don't we just go with that so it looks like a pool table. That's really, really nice. I want one of those. Are you ready to play, Raul? You do remember how to use a Q, don't you? Shade? Ha ha, amigo. I hope it won't be like the last game we played at the seventh pocket. Senior Raul, what happened there? And what is the seventh pocket? Oh, it's a long story. I'll just say that to start, there were only six pockets, but then Billy really got into the game. <laughs> Well, I didn't think my best shot would make another pocket in the pool table and smash the Q rack. So you need a Q rack to recreate your best shot. No problem. I'll set one up now. Yeah, I love Q racks. Honestly, I think that definitely makes it look more like you know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, so that's four stars to place a Q rock. Okay, and again, we've got the more classic looking one with the green and like mahogany. And then this one's like a lighter brown. Well, a little bit lighter than this brown anyway. Has a white top there. No, oh, that looks super old. I like the dark brown one the best. It always takes me forever to make these decisions, like it's a life decision. I don't know why. <laughs> Austin, who holds a cue like that? Remember, it isn't a paddle. Turn your wrist out and relax your elbow. Let it move freely. Damn, Olivia plays pool? You guys, this is going to get interesting. Mom, you play pool too? I didn't know that. You're kidding, right? Senora Olivia has beaten William and me more times than I'd like to admit. How about a game, Senora? Thanks, Raul, but I'd rather just watch you two play for now. I'll go get a chair from the kitchen. That is so me, by the way. Like, I usually beat my husband in these things, but I prefer to let him win because I like, you know, I like letting a man be a man. That's all. I don't know why I'm, I'm spouting all this, but now you know. A chair from the kitchen. That won't do. Let's put a couple of nice stools here. Okay. No one brings chairs from the kitchen in a good butler's house. Exactly. Especially when you can bring them from the living room. Oh, Dad. But the ones from the kitchen are more comfortable. Don't worry. You'll like the new stools. Yeah, let's get, let's get Mama's stool. So the stools are going to be four stars. Okay, so we've got the white ones, green, and blue. I think the green would go nicely. I just, I don't like stools or chairs that don't have backs. But the white ones look a little too modern to me. So we're just going to go with the green. That's kind of matchy. I think I read too much into these things, but I just love this game so much. You know, so. I read to it all that I want. Elbow up, aim, aim for the table. Aim for the side of the table? I don't know what she said. That's it. Way to go, Austin. Yeah, that was pretty good break. Nice shot, Austin. A couple more years of hard training, and you'll be able to beat Olivia in, like, Two games out of five. <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I the only one that laughs out loud at, at these things? It's so cheesy, but I just love it. Oh, come on, William. Just admit that you and Raul let me win so that I felt better. Oh, that would be really sweet, actually. 
Like I said, I let my husband win. Yeah, because I, I just want a man to feel like, man, I don't want to be beating him and emasculating him, especially if we're, like, out with our friends or something. Honey, if we did that, then we would never win at all. Okay, what's the new task? Play pool. Oh, yeah, why don't we do that? New task is to play pool. Um, you don't believe us. Let's have a game. Raul and I against you, and we won't go easy. Well, ready to show your son how to play pool? Oh, my gosh. That'll be so cute, you guys. We have to do that. Let's do that. Oh, oh, oh. I got a reward. I love these. Yay. I don't know why. It makes me so happy. Okay, so playing a game of pool is going to cost us two stars and I think it'll be super cute so let's do that Olivia will you break I don't know if you want her to break Ooh. not again we don't stand a chance against her <laughs> that's just adorable I can't it's so adorable Ooh, go girl go get it Get it. You got it. Side pocket. Right there. Yep. Madre mia, senora. That's impossible. Honey, that's not fair. Raul and I didn't even get a chance to play. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry, William. I got carried away. How about a rematch? So that we can just stand by and watch you win again? No thanks. But you could give Austin a couple of lessons. Ah, oh, the good old days. Remember this poster? Meet me at sunset? Raul lost two tickets to this movie by betting that he could beat you in at least one game of three. Oh, William, you kept those old movie posters that we used to collect? That's so romantic. Aww. Oh. That's great, Dad. Let's hang these posters on the walls. They'll add a nice touch to our home theater. So that's going to be our new task, of course, is hanging the posters. Okay. Oh, we have mail. Did I not notice that from before? Hello. It has come to my knowledge that you've recently ordered a pool table. Are you thinking of, are you thinking of getting back into professional pool? That would be terrific news. I'm hoping Olivia will grace our next tournament to show the next generation how pool is played. I'm sure it will be a spectacular comeback. Luigi Carambole? Luigi Carambole. Okay. Owner of the seventh pocket. Oh, they were just talking about that. This game is so cute, you guys. I can't. I just cannot. Okay, we're moving on. I was a member of a pool club for a short time when I was in college. For a short time because they hated losing to your mother all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go, Olivia. Go. Okay. So, we played a game of pool. Okay, I don't, I don't like... Oh God, putting up the posters is four stars. That's a lot of stars, you guys, for just putting up posters. So, I would like to do the screen and the theater chairs so the theater chairs are going to be four stars for the first one so we've got the blue i like those red ones and green the red kind of just blends in though with the carpet so i i don't know oh gosh oh gosh Is it too much green? I always feel like I, I'm always choosing green. Let's go with the blue this time just to change it up. Okay, so we've got three blue chairs with like wooden arms and a black back. Oliver, are you trying to decide which chair to sit on first? The one on the left or the one on the right? Speaking of Oliver. Ollie, hey cuties. Kisses. Love you. He loves me, I swear. I just bother him. Huh. Huh. And say hi. Look, that's Oliver right there. Meow. Say something. Talk. 
You're not my trick pony, huh? You want to say anything, cuties? Hmm? Say meow. Meow. <laughs> He's so unamused by me. Okay. I tried. Normally, I can't get this cat to shut up, by the way. He is the most talkative cat ever. And so now, because I want him to talk, he's not going to talk. Don't worry. When we put the rest of the chairs here, you'll get to inspect them all and find the most comfortable one. Oliver, are you shedding again? Yeah, my cat sheds a lot. It looks like I'll need to clean all the sofas and armchairs after you. I wish they made furniture with fur-resistant coverings. <laughs> Aww. I love my little cat, though. I'm sleeping. He's just so cute. So cute, Ace. Okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm sure people don't really care about my cat. Okay, so four, we're going to do more chairs. That's going to be another four stars. Okay, we're going to keep it with the blue. I would like them all to match. <sighs> Oliver was just here. Melinda, have you seen the cat? I have. I've seen the cat. Hey, hey. hey precious. Okay. I'm not done. <laughs> no, don't say it. Let me guess. We have a missing cat in an empty box. It's elementary. Yeah, my cat loves boxes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I just love it. Meow. Oh, say something. Kitty kitties. Ha ha, got you. Even the cunning meow reality can't fool the famous Austin Holmes. Oh. Oh, Moriarty. So meow reality. I get it. I love it. <laughs> Cuties. Okay. Okay, me and my cat are going to do this together. <clears throat> what we have left, anyway. Okay, he really... I wonder why they don't just sell boxes at pet stores. For real. They're cheaper and definitely more popular among cats. Oh my gosh. You guys. Maybe I'll start selling boxes. I could, like, make a patent of, like, kitty boxes. Like a toy. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Good idea, Austin. Okay. So we have 11 stars left, and we're 50% through. I thought we'd get like halfway through, so it wasn't far off. We're going to put up the projector screen. That's three stars. <clears throat> what do you think, Melinda? Just as good as a real movie theater, wouldn't you say? I'd say. I'd say it's even better. The last time I went to a movie theater, there were stripes all across the screen. Was it like a dollar movie theater? Where were you at? And the movie wasn't even about zebras. It was about the Arctic. Polar bears with black stripes. Can you imagine, Melinda? No. And the sound was far from perfect. Speaking of sound, let's get some good speakers so we can hear even the faintest sounds. Okay. I'm sure we won't have any issues with the screen like this. I'm sure you will not. Our impressions of movies will be far more vivid from now on. From now on? I think he meant from now on. Okay, so we're going to, let's, let's put up the posters because that was like a task from a while ago. So there's three posters. That looks like LA Confidential or something. There's nothing, there's something charming about old posters or maybe I'm just being nostalgic. Each movie release was a big deal back then. Now they come out way too often. Oh, Melinda, I'm starting to sound like my dad. We all have that issue, Austin. Seriously, I feel like I always sound like my parents. But I'm too young to reminisce about days long gone, and we have so much more to do. Grandpa was into cinema, so are my parents, and Patrick is. I must say, I like a good movie, too. Everyone likes a good movie, right? Okay, 
So then four stars for placing speakers. That's our last four stars. And then I'll just have to place some more levels. Okay, so we've got the brown and silver. A lighter brown and silver. And then like a white and yellow. I rather do like the white and yellow. I think that looks like that kind of makes a statement. So we're going to go with those. Wow, great speakers. Chosen by a professional, no doubt. I couldn't have picked something better myself. Let's try them out. Thanks, Patrick. Patrick, dear, shouldn't you be studying for your exams? I should, but business can be so boring. All that balance, debt, credit, I'd rather be a musician. Patrick, all jobs are important. Although, if I were forced to study something I didn't like, I'd run away with a traveling circus. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry, my friend's car broke down in the middle of the road. It's a good thing I always have tools in my truck. I'm going to help him out. Adios, Billy. Bye, Austin. Bye. Oh, so cute. Bye-bye. This is just part of a movie, and this is too. And there's nothing on this film. Oh, well, it looks like we're out of luck. That's all, folks. Forget about a movie. Oh, he's pouting. Look at that plenum. Why, Dad? None of the film has been edited. These are all just jumbled up frames. That's no problem. Let's fix the editing table and I'll put together any movie you like. I'm good at it. Oh, okay. So that's probably, that'll be our next task, right? Patrick, movies are great, but what about the Elite Bookworm Club? If Dad isn't accepted, no movie will be able to console him. Keep it cool. All we need to do is wait for Mr. Crawford's reply. Okay. He has nothing to say? So then our next task... Oh, yay! Reward! Yay! I love these things. Is we're going to fix the editing table, so that'll be four stars. So... We've gotten through 60% of this. I'm probably going to need like at least 20 more stars to finish this level or this day. So I'm going to get to that and then we will finish this taping. So thanks. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to be finishing day five of the library. Um, and then maybe I'll start another day also. We'll see how it goes. So we were at, let's see, here we are. Fixing the editing table. And that's going to cost us four stars. So let's get back into that. Okay. Look at our options here. Um... As usual, I mean, I like the dark brown the best. That's like a violet color that I'm not really into. So I think I'm going to go with the, the dark brown and the green. Sometime later. Let's see. This is regular 16 millimeter film and that's, oh wow, a dye transfer matrix. I've never seen one before. Okay, well he likes it. Is everything okay? Do you need some help? New task, edit the film. Okay. No thanks, I'm good. It won't be easy though, but it's way more interesting than business. I'll edit it all together, just you wait. I'll try not to get in the way then. By the way, do you like sweet or salty popcorn? I'm going to get a pack or two for the evening. I like both. Yeah, I would say both. On the other hand, let's put in a popcorn machine, then everyone can have as much as they like. Good idea. I like both kinds of popcorn. I could even go for sour. Sour popcorn? How's that? My friends and I did some experimenting with popcorn flavors once. We mix syrup, pepper, lemon, and cheese. It was pretty tasty. Okay. I would try it. I like all kinds of popcorn, especially that white cheddar popcorn. I think that's my favorite. Oh, no, no. I lie. I tell a lie. Those popcorn tins for Christmas 
Oh my gosh, those are the best. And I always like mix them all and put them all in my mouth. Oh, Oliver came running in. Nice try, Oliver, but I got you. It's cute. Okay, so moving on, anyway. Edit the film is going to be three stars, and set up a popcorn machine is going to be four stars. So let's help him edit the film. Austin, you'll never believe what I found here. A director's version of Doors Wide Open by Stacy Rubrick. Okay, so it's Stanley Kubrick. I don't know what movie that is. It's never been released on the big screen. It's never been released at all. It might be the only full copy in existence. Wow, I remember Dad saying that Stacy and Grandpa were friends. She must have given him the film as a gift. Please don't tell your parents just yet. We'll surprise them with it tonight. Man, what a treasure. It's better than a chest full of gold. I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple of those here too. <laughs> Let's start searching. Yeah, I would start searching if that's really what you thought was going on. Okay, so now we're going to set up a popcorn machine. Okay. That's like a green popcorn machine, a blue, and like a gold-ish with some white on it. The green one looks funny. I don't know. I'll go with that one, the gold one. It's like gold and white. Purr, purr. Ollie, do you want to say anything? Can you see my cat? He's lay, just laying there. Kitty, kitty. What are you doing? You're up. No? Okay, I'm sorry. He's just being too cute. Can I just... Cuties. Can you even see? I'm not doing this right, I feel like. He's just trying to cover up his face because he's being so cute. Who's my little cutest? Who's my little cutest? Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oliver, it's a popcorn machine. Cats don't eat popcorn. Meow. Oh. Oh well, I guess you'll eat anything. But your movie snack tonight will still be cat. I can't say that word out loud because my cat will flip out. Now he's cleaning himself. Treaties? You want treaties? Yeah. See? I said it. Now he needs it. Treaties? There. <laughs> there you are. Alright. Now I need to give him treaties. Excuse me. While I give my cat treats. You want treaties? Treaties. You want these? Yeah? Okay. There you go. Come here. I already, I already gave them to you. Here. There he goes. What a brat. He's so spoiled. Seriously though, he loves those. He's come he comes running like a dog if we say that word. Okay. How about setting up a soda fridge to help wash down the popcorn? That way we'll have everything right here within reach. Okay, placing a soda fridge, four stars. Okay, there's a blue one. This one looks like a keg. And that looks, I don't know, nothing like a soda fridge. So we're going to do the one that actually looks like a soda fridge. That doesn't, okay. 
Popcorn and soda, what a perfect combination. No wonder they sell them at every theater. I gave up soda for Lent, so... Like, I, I really would love a soda right now, to be honest. <sighs> Did you know that movie theaters make more money selling soda than actual tickets? It'll be free here, and we can have as much as we want. Okay, Patrick, the chairs are in place, the screen is up, the speakers are on. Oliver is giddy with excitement. It's time to watch the movie. Ollie, are you giddy with excitement? Wait, Austin, I have an idea. The projector is old, but technology hasn't been standing still. If we upgrade... If we upgrade it a bit, even an old movie will look twice as good. I'll take your word for it. In that case, you deal with the projector and I'll go get a pack of tissues so I can secretly wipe away tears. Okay, turn this here. Um, oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Moving on. Upgrade the film projector. Three stars. Ollie, are you giddy? Say something. Meow. No. Meow. Oh. There he is. Wow, there are so many wires and buttons, I'd never figure out what goes where. Patrick, where did you learn how to do all that? I really hated math class, and my friend and I would skip it sometimes. His dad worked at a movie theater, and he taught us a lot. I guess it's a rare case when skipping classes did you some good. I wish Mom thought that way, too. Business is a steady path. Nothing like your movies. You should follow in your father's footsteps. Let's watch the movie now. Debit and credit can work out for themselves who owes what. It's time to take your seats and make some popcorn. Yay! Now we're going to watch the movie? Is that what we're doing? Yay! Watch the movie. Four stars. Okay. It's time to watch the movie. Hurry, take your seats. I can't wait to see it. Ah! Patrick, Austin, wait a minute. Let's invite Catherine over. She's into movies, too. Stephanie won't forgive me if we don't invite her. <gasps> we should invite Lisa over, too. For Patrick. Great idea, Mom. I'll call them now. Hello, Catherine. Hi. Are you busy tonight? <coughs> brilliant what a deep movie it really makes you think Stacy Rubik was such a genius yes a great movie we were lucky to have found it if it weren't for the repairs to the library the film would still be collecting dust Austin you need to get it to the film Academy it's the discovery of the century for the industry I definitely will, Catherine, but right now our biggest worry is the club, and that is exactly what we'll be focusing on tomorrow. Okay, so we'll start a new day, and tomorrow we'll worry about that. But until then, I'm going to have 30 minutes of free play that I am going to be using, so I will film the next day again later. Bye.